Hello everyone, uh, in this class we will be discussing about the creation of cost center in SAP MM. Why we required the cost center? Okay, so whenever uh, we are creating the service PO, that time we have to give the cost center as well as the uh, whatever the GL account is associated with the cost center, we need to provide it. Okay, while creating the uh, service center sheet. So, uh, not, not service center sheet, while creating the service PO so that we need to have this cost center or else sometimes we will be uh, good, uh, issuing the goods to the um, uh, for the consumption okay so that time also we need the cost center or the gl account okay so uh, in this class we'll just see how one can able to create the cost center in sap mm actually the uh, cost center creation is completely related to the FI consultants as of uh, in our class actually uh, there is no FI consultants we'll, be, we'll just carry out this activity I'll just uh, go to the uh, SAP screen here uh, in here um, we can just show you the path also or else if you don't want the path we'll just go through the T codes as well I'll just give the steps over here the first thing we need to maintain the control area maintain the controlling area we uh, actually it is there in the define control area uh, screen i'll just show you where we will uh, do that first i'll going to take you through the path okay the path is spro img enterprise structure enterprise structure definition controlling under controlling we will be having the maintain controlling area the t code for uh, means uh, here uh, we need to do the like maintain controlling area is there no we have to double click on that so uh, to come over here the t code is ox06 you can see here at the right side corner you can see the t code for this particular thing so that is ox06 what I will do, I will just create my own controlling area right now. I will just uh, uh, check it whether it is available or not. So I want to create the controlling area as LT01 only. So as of now, LT01 is not there. I will say new entries. I will just give LT01 and just check here. Comp controlling area is equal to company code. So even I will also just create the LT01 controlling area and uh, next I'll just give this one as a uh, controlling area same as that of the company code and currency type it is asking it will it will take only one currency that is the company code currency it has taken so everything it is come automatically so currency is INR and chart of account is INT fiscal year variant K4 if you want you can change these things okay I just uh, selected the K4 here but if you want like uh, in the V also V series also V3 will be one you can uh, use that or else K4 is the best thing so here I'll just click enter and save this data save it now I have created the controlling area so I'll just uh, go back slash n and uh, now we have created the control area but now we have to assign it okay where to assign it again go to the uh, spro img and enterprise structure go to the assignments here go to the controlling assign company code to controlling area we need to go here so uh, we are going to come to this particular screen so uh, put the position so controlling area is LT01 here just click enter and just select this and go to the assignment of the company codes I have not yet assigned any company code here just say new entries and just give my company code that is LT01 and click enter just save this data again so what I have done I have just created the controlling area and I have assigned my company code over here Okay, once you're going to double click on the uh, controlling area, you will going to get the same results. Okay, whatever we have created at the controlling area. So uh, the uh, means we need to save this data. So for okay for assignment, no for assignment, if you are going here, the T code is OX19. 
actually uh, these things basically will not going to uh, do it in a mm side so you can just go through the t code and you can finish these activities okay or else if you want okay then i am just uh, showing you the path now the next step is so sorry i have just uh, give you this hint the second okay the first one is to maintain the controlling area to maintain the controlling area uh, we have used the um, what is that uh, t code as ox06 and second step is second step okay what we have done we have assigned the controlling area assign controlling area so for this we have used the t code ox19 and uh, third step is uh, what we will going to do is maintain the controlling area we need to maintain it now maintain the controlling area so to maintain the controlling area uh, the t code is okkp okay so anyway i'll just uh, take you to the path uh, and if you don't want to go to the path just go through the uh, what is that uh, okkp only it is better to go through the uh, what is that uh, t codes only we don't require the paths okay okkp i'll just go here so uh, we'll going to get this screen so i'll just uh, search my controlling area that is lt01 and uh, uh, just select this and uh, go to the activate components in the controlling indicators okay i'll uh, i have to just say new entries here these are the different uh, components over here you can give like uh, 9999 rls you can give the fiscal year as of now okay so i just want to activate all these components here the component is not active i am just activating them all the components and here uh, here activity based costing it is a uh, one particular uh, uh, what is that field where you need to take the component active for the parallel calculation okay component is activate for the parallel calculation we need to take and just click enter here okay that is the only data I will going to fill and just save it and assignment of the company code uh, three critical transport controlling indicator in the controlling area that is okay so we have already uh, done the assignment of the company code if you want you can just check it our company code is already assigned here just go back and oh sorry i'll just go back okay kp okay here once you're going to come to the okay kp just position your lt01 i'll just double click on this now okay i have just selected it and went for the activation but now i'll just double click on this here we need to provide this standard hierarchy okay so this controlling standard hierarchy i'll just provide as one okay so uh, it will going to ask okay standard hierarchy one does not exist so should system one be created like that it is asking i'll say yes because i am creating my own just save this data so as of now uh, the everything is done so here we have created the controlling area and uh, next thing is we need to create the uh, what is that uh, cost center okay so we have done everything but we need to create the cost center we have not yet created the cost center so i'll just go back okay so the third step i have maintained here what is the fourth step we need to create the cost center create cost center okay to create the cost center we'll just go through the t code uh, that is ks01 okay ks01 is the t code here bicc it is taken automatically but now i need to okay because uh, system has to be refreshed okay then only i think it will come just a minute now i'll just go to ks01 so here it is asking for the controlling area what is our controlling area we have just created that is lt01 just click enter uh, what i will do is uh, cost center it is asking for the cost center the name of the cost center we can provide lt01 only because we have maintained everything with this name lt01 and valid from so today's date i'll just provide from today uh, it will go into valid just click enter now okay it is asking for the name I will going to give LT01 here LT01 cost center and a responsible person is like uh, Sri I will just mention and 
cost center category okay just click over here and take it as a production and hierarchical area uh, it will take automatically because we have created over there and business area is uh, just take this triple zero as a standard and uh, currency is INR so these things I'll going to provide and click enter profit center account uh, active but uh, no profit center specified that is okay J it is just a caution just click enter and save this data so I have created the cost center over here so once you going to create the cost center now we have to assign the general ledger to it okay so once you have created the cost center that is KS01 now we need to assign the general ledger okay to the cost center okay where we'll going to assign it we'll going to assign it in the fs00 okay we'll just uh, go through the fs uh, sap screen and i'll go slash in fs00 once i go here you can see the gl account is 4 lakh is available but company code is bipl is there i'll just change it to lt01 once you given the uh, code here go to the edit cost element so in the edit cost element go to the master data just you have to give this uh, category element okay cost category element that is the primary cost or cost controlling you just provide this okay and here uh, just save this data okay now we have created the cost center as LT01 we can use this uh, cost center for uh, uh, what is that consumption of the product means if you are use, uh, issuing the goods that time you can use it or else while creating the service view also you can use this particular cost center uh, that's it guys in the today's class uh, thanks for watching my video